Hi, everybody. I'm Susan Kimball here in the Portland Press Herald studio with meteorologist Dave Epstein. Dave, we have seen cold, cold temperatures this winter, but as we move deeper into March and April, when are we going to start seeing that let up a little bit? The pattern's definitely been cold. We've really been cold since January, since especially the middle part of the month, yes. all the way through the first part of March so far. Mm -hmm. And the pattern looks like it's going to continue overall colder than average. So by the time we get to the end of March, I think when we look back, we'll probably be anywhere from about two to four degrees below the average over the past 30 years. That doesn't mean we won't have some warm days, days where maybe it hits 50 or even 60 degrees. Yeah. But when we look back, it'll probably be a cool month. And I think that's going to continue oh. into April cooler than average. But remember, as we get into April and May, the averages start coming up into the 50s and 60s and eventually low 70s. Mm -hmm. So even if we are below average, it just will be at least comfortable. It's still going to feel like spring. And you were saying earlier that this is a continuation kind of a, of a pattern that we set early, early on. That's right. Last summer, think about last summer. It's hard to remember, but it was, <laughs> it sure very, it was very dry. We didn't have a lot of humidity at all. One of the least humid summers I can ever remember. Lots of cool, comfortable nights. And that pattern of Canadian air has just really continued right up until this point. Eventually, that, tend to, that will tend to start to break down, probably as we get deeper into spring and especially into the summer, when it could be a very hot summer. Just because we've had a cool spring doesn't mean that it couldn't be a hot summer. I don't think we'll see the coolness we saw the entire summer last year. And it's pretty hard. I mean, it's impossible to look months and That's months right. ahead, right? That I mean, there's no way to tell. We can only hope and pray. That's right. We just look at overall patterns and we can see that overall it looks like a trough in the east. So that tends to breed cooler weather. We knew last fall that this would be a fairly cold winter, but we had no idea that it would be the coldest February, for example, since 1934. But we'll never forget it. No, we will not. <laughs> Historical for sure. Great. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.